Hey TAC fans, in this video I'm going to cover a camel network link that covers stream gauge data. Uh, this winter on the west coast we've uh, finally caught up with the amount of water we've needed and we've uh, been inundated with these Pacific storms. Um, our good friend Joseph Elfelt at MappingSupport.com is a genius at getting into these public access uh, GIS servers and pointing out where we can get data. He's built a KML network link um, for the whole United States and to show you the stream gauge data. Right now I've turned on Nevada, California, and Washington on the map. And we'll show you how to bring that into ATAC and build that KML network link and how to share it out. The first thing I want to kind of show you is the schema. You can see the different colored uh, dots here. Blue dots mean that there's no threshold set uh, for that particular stream um, as far as what a flooding event um, may, you know, may be triggered. And that could be because it's a seasonal stream or just for storm water. Those typically don't have uh, kind of a foot of elevation of when something be flooded versus a river that normally has water in it year round. So anytime you see something that's blue, um, you will not, it's just going to remain blue, meaning it doesn't have a, um, that attribute data set to it. And I'll I'll uh, show you ones that do and kind of compare it. All right, here's one. Um, so I'm out in um, the Monterey area. We'll click on this green one here. And we'll get uh, the metadata. You can see the status says no flooding. And the water body is the Carmel River. And as I scroll down, you can see the observed feet is 7.29. And the action is at 15 feet. At action, it will turn yellow. And then you can see at the moderate flood level is at 16 feet, and then it will turn um, to, I believe, the uh, orange or red. And we'll, we'll dive into one of these. It'll show you the, the entire schema. We'll find one that has uh, all the color attributes. But that's the metadata behind it. Um, on the URL here, if you click on that, it will open up the NOAA website and then you can get a little more data. If you grab uh, the little button here to slide this out, you can resize it. Depending on if you have a phone or a tablet, um, you may not have to resize this. But then we can scroll down and then we can see some of the schema set up here. Uh, that action um, between 15 and 16 feet, it's going to turn yellow and at the moderate is 16 and above. Um, their record is at 20.9 um, feet. Um, you can see that this has a current observation. Some of these have forecasts in them. Um, on the left, you have the, the, the flood stage in feet, and on the right, they have uh, the flow of the river. So on any of these, you can kind of, you can click on this URL and get more information. So let's close out of this one, and let's uh, click on one of these that is um, in more of a severe status. All right, here's one here. It's red. We'll click on that, and it's the Spreckles location along the Salinas River. And we'll scroll down, and we can see the observed is at 26.12 feet. Action set at 20 feet, so it's well above action. And that action for is just to get someone's attention, like, hey, the, the river is rising. And they can see that they have these other thresholds. It's flooding at 23 feet. It's a moderate flooding at 26, and it's a major flood at uh, 28. So we can see it's at the moderate threshold now. If I click on the URL, we'll open up. We'll bring the sidebar out. And we'll scroll down, and then you can see that they have the schema all set. Um, actions at yellow, minors at uh, the orange, moderate at red, and major at this um, kind of a purple color. And they also have a forecast uh, set as well on theirs. As you can see, today I'm filming this. It's at uh, March 13th, and they've got a forecast out for the next five days, as we are expecting to get a lot of rain in the next couple of days. Now I'm going to click on one of these blue ones. I mentioned before that there isn't a threshold set. Um, sometimes you can be on waterways um, that don't normally have water in them all the time, or they just might not have something set. So if I click on this blue one here, this is along the Arroyo Seco River. Click on that. And um, as I scroll down here, 
you can see it just has an observed at 8.56, but it doesn't have anything set for flood, moderate, major. And if you go up to the top, the, the status is not defined because it doesn't have that set. So again, on these, uh, you're never going to see them go past blue, but you can get more info. Like I said before, if you click on the URL, it will give you um, what the current info is. So it will show you the current feet and the current flow. So you can see that, um, you know, on March 10th, it was, you know, three feet above uh, the record at nine, uh, uh, 9.6 feet. And you also get uh, the flow on the right. So just because it doesn't have parameters set doesn't mean you can't get great data. It's just not going to, um, you know, be evident on the map. You're going to have to interact with it. Um, what you could do is talk to uh, whoever maintains that, the authority having jurisdiction, and ask them to you know, maybe set some, some flow rates, especially for first responders. That can be very helpful for swift water rescue um, type events. All right, next thing I'm going to cover is how to get started with these cable network links. Um, from my overlay menu here, you can see if I scroll down to network resources, I have three of these cable network links set up. If you've never imported a KML network link before, um, you won't see network resources. You'd have to use uh, the import function, which we'll cover here in a second. But let's interrogate one of these uh, real quick. You can see if I click on the pencil that I've got this URL here that's going out to this ArcGIS server. And for this California um, stream gauges, you can see I've got CA set up right here. And um, I can replace this um, California with uh, any two-letter state, and I'll return that state's data. So, you know, you could get this uh, KML link link from someone, but the easiest way to do this is just to go to um, the maps.taxserver.us and grab a data package I've already set up and import it. And then um, once you grab the California data, you can just copy and paste from here and make any state you want. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so um, first off, first thing we're gonna do is we'll start from the beginning. We'll grab it from maps.tax server. We'll bring in um, Utah data, and then we'll make some uh, Oregon data. And then I'll show you how you export that for anybody else. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go over to Chrome, and we're just gonna type in maps.taxserver.us. That goes to my Google Drive. And then we're gonna scroll down to ATAC mapping, and then we're gonna go to data, and this is streaming data. It's coming over the internet, and we're gonna scroll to uh, this stream flood data. And now we're going to go and we're going to um, download this Utah Stream Gauges. So we'll hit the download arrow upper right. And now that's downloading that data package um, onto my device. I don't anything, do anything else. I don't need to open it. I can go back to ATAC, go to my import manager. And I want to go to my local SD. And then I'm going to filter by time. So I'm going to click on date. Now it goes to time. And now I got this Utah stream gauges. Hit OK. And it's going to import uh, that data package. Everything's set up. The URL is already on there and everything. What you will have to do is get out of this network resources and then uh, get back into it for it to show up. Give it a sec. And there it is. And now I need to hit the download arrow and hit stream. And now uh, we've got the Utah data. So now I want to make Oregon data. All right, I can go to this Utah stream or any of these, click on the pencil, go ahead and highlight that, hit copy. And we're going to cancel out of this and we're going to hit the plus mark. And we're going to hit KML network link. And I'm going to paste this URL in here. And I'm going to scroll over to where the state was. And instead of Utah, click on 
click on here, and now I want Oregon data. I'll name it OR stream gauge. All right, I'll auto refresh, and I like to remove local content. Um, I shut down if it's streaming data. I don't want old stale data on there. I'm gonna hit add. And just like when I brought the Utah um, KML network and again, I have to hit the stream. And now it's streaming. And if I scroll up to Oregon, now we have that data. So the next thing I'm gonna cover is how I share these KML network links out. Now that we've created this over Oregon Stream Gauge uh, Cable Network link, we have an option to share it. I can do that by hitting send, and I get the option to send to contacts. If you're hosting a tax server, you can send it to the server. What I've been doing to get on the Google Drive is using the export function. I choose export, and it adds this Cable Network link as a data package to the export folder in ATAC. Next, I'll cover how to get it into Google Drive. So to get that Oregon streaming data package I just created into Google Drive, I'm just going to switch to Google Drive. And I've got my stream flood data folder. I'm going to hit the plus icon. Hit upload. I'm going to go to my Galaxy Note 25G phone. Scroll down to my ATAC folder. Go to my export folder. And there's the Oregon a stream gauge is zip file. I'm going to click on that. And now that's uploaded uh, to my Google Drive. And now anybody that goes to maps.taxserver.us will be able to download that. So that's one way to, to share these is to, to put them at like uh, a hosted repository to share data. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful in um, showing you how the camel network links work. Um, a big thank you to Joseph El Elfelt at MappingSupport.com. He has really taken to ATAC and um, taken a deep dive into all of these um, open source um, ArcGIS servers um, and bringing this data into ATAC. So uh, again, a big thank you to him um, for showing um, us how to do this. And I hope we'll have more from him soon to share. Thanks for watching.